Hey, what is up, guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. There's a couple of things that I want to talk about today and that I want to show you. So be sure to watch this entire video. I want to touch base on the Dr. Greer interview that I just posted, uh, as well as some other things. But first, I want you guys to check out this amazing footage that you're seeing here of what can only be described as, well, what appears to be some sort of flying disc-shaped UFO that was spotted hovering in the distance behind the International Space Station before finally darting away at a very high rate of speed. Now, this was discovered by my friend and fellow YouTuber StreetCap1. Uh, the shot starts with this sort of off-white, yellow-colored disc. I mean, it's clearly a disc shape, and we've seen many of these, not exclusively, only around the space station. But if you're even remotely up to speed with ufology and the alien phenomenon, you'll know that the flying saucer, the disc, is one of the most commonly seen and spoken about craft that has been witnessed by hundreds of thousands of people uh, over Earth, in space, above the moon. And so we see this thing sitting here, and just look how quickly this thing darts away. Oddly enough, just as the camera switched to this angle. So this thing moves as if it knew that the camera was suddenly watching it, it was in the frame, and then we see it start to move backwards, it picks up speed before finally shrinking due to the laws of perspective as it blasted backwards. And this is an amazing piece of footage here. Um, you know, we have documented these things for years, and I think that a piece of footage like this ties in perfectly with the recent interview that we conducted with Dr. Stephen Greer that we just posted. And if you guys haven't seen that interview yet, be sure to head over. Uh, we, we spent about an hour and a half with Dr. Greer, who, if you don't know, is a pioneer of this research. Uh, he's got 30 years of experience. He is the founder of the Disclosure Project, and uh, he recently came out with a new film called Unacknowledged, which many of you, I'm sure, by now have heard about. You know, I know a lot of you have already watched the interview, and, you know, I've gotten so far an amazingly uh, kind and warm response from you guys and those of you who had a chance to see it. Uh, now, as I had previously indicated, this was the first interview I've ever done on the channel. And, of course, add to that the fact that my first interview was with arguably the biggest and most well-known researcher of this field. And so, as you can imagine, that added a little bit of pressure. I wanted to make it a good interview, but being this was the first time I had actually met Mr. Greer in person, or had been face to face with him. You know, I, I wanted to listen to what he had to say. Now, I had a ton of questions to ask him, and in the interview, you'll probably see me looking down a bunch of times because, uh, you know, I had a stack of papers stapled together with questions from fans, questions of my own. I had an entire list. And, you know, at the beginning of the interview, I even told Dr. Greer that I had all of these questions. But I really only got to ask maybe four or five questions for the entire hour and a half. And that's mainly because Dr. Greer is, we'll say, extremely thorough in his answers. You know, you ask him a question and he doesn't just give you some one-off 50-second answer. He goes in-depth and, you know, thoroughly answers that question. And so that took up a lot of time, which is fine, because Dr. Greer actually ended up answering many of the questions that I was going to ask him. Uh, however, I know that there were many topics and questions that I didn't get to present, and that's all right, you know, because we are going to have Dr. Greer back, as well as other researchers. You know, this interview was a first. For the channel. It was more of an introductory interview so that I could get to know Dr. Greer. I could be respectful and sit back and just let him talk without interrupting him, without arguing with him. And that allowed me 
and you guys to really get to know Dr. Greer, what he was about. You know, there's many of you out there who, who don't know him or, or do but don't know much about him. And so with this interview, I wanted to take a step back, whereas every other day of the week in all of my videos, I'm very confrontational, I'm very opinionated, I'm very stern and set in my beliefs uh, most of the time. But in this interview, I simply wanted to let Dr. Greer say what he wanted to say. And despite the fact that I didn't get to pose every question I wanted to, I think the interview was an amazing success. And, um, you know, I'm just happy to have him here. Whatever your opinion of the man is, whether you think that he's a CIA shill, whether you think that he is a pioneer, the point of this channel is to learn, to analyze, but also listen. And I think before we jump the gun, we need to listen to all sides and to all people. And so, again, I just want to let you guys know that this is just the first of many interviews to come. And on the next one, I will get to many of the questions I didn't get to ask today. Uh, and I want you guys to know that I'm also currently in talks with another very famous man who has been in the headlines over the past couple of years. And that man, of course, is Paul Hellyer, who, if you don't know, is the ex-defense minister of Canada, who a couple of years back came out and admitted that we were being visited, that the governments and the media were covering it up, and has since become a vocal proponent of this research. So I am in talks with him at the moment to do an interview, so I want you guys to look out for that. And, you know... I think this is going to be an amazing direction that we're taking the channel in. Now, we're always going to be posting the normal videos that made this channel what it is. But peppered in there, I'd love to do some more interviews and get some of the biggest names in this field on the channel and do it in a way that's respectable. Whereas with many other channels and interviewers who love to butt in and interrupt and argue and promote their own set of beliefs, I want to take the approach of that of a listener, whereby which we respect the people who come on the channel and do interviews with me, while at the same time promoting a civil discussion that is productive and allows you guys to make up your own minds, as always. So, before we end today's video, I have one more bit of news, and that is, well, it's actually kind of a sad day, because I have just found out that uh, one of the biggest websites that uh, for years now has been devoted to publishing daily UFO news, whether it be photos or video or news stories, much like we do here on the channel, uh, appears to be closing its doors. And I am, of course, talking about the website UFOSightingsDaily.com, which is operated by Scott C. Waring and has, again, for years now, been an extremely valuable and popular website uh, where Scott has continually and on a daily basis published any and all news relating to the subject of UFOs and aliens. And, you know, we have featured many of the, the stories that he has. Uh, his website has been featured in the mainstream media, on TV shows like Ancient Aliens, on the History Channel, you name it. And, you know, it's one of the oldest and long-standing UFO research websites. Uh, and so today, I was very sad to see that Scott's latest post on the front page of the website indicated that UFO sightings daily would be coming to an end. You're seeing that post here, which is entitled, My Last Post. Thanks for seven years of support. We have accomplished a lot together. And so he briefly talks about the starting of his website in 2010. And so without really explaining why, uh, he states that he will still be around, but will not be posting anymore. Um, he says that he believes it's changed, whereas it was educational before and enlightening. Um, it has now taken a turn as entertainment, and that that was never his intention. And, you know, I, I can only say that, of course, this subject is very serious, and it should be taken seriously. 
but there also is an entertainment aspect to it as in it's an entertaining subject and i don't think that's a bad thing now of course if you're trying to exploit it for entertainment then yes i don't think that's a good thing and there are many other channels and websites out there who are dedicated to posting this stuff merely as entertainment uh, something to laugh at or tell your friends about but there are many of us out there who do take it seriously and who present the evidence in an entertaining way because it is entertaining, it is addictive, but in a serious manner as well, just like we do here on the channel and just as Scott has done over the years. So my final thought today is that, Scott, if you happen to listen to this or watch this video, I hope you will reconsider closing down the website and hopefully you will be back soon doing what you do best and that is reporting on this subject that i know you love so with that thank you guys for stopping by today head over to ufo sightings daily and show scott some love if you can and let him know that his work is valuable and big thanks to dr greer and all of the future people that we will be interviewing on the channel very exciting times secure team about to hit 1 million subscribers i can't tell you guys how thankful i am and I want you all to know that I've got your back and that this has always been and always will be a group and community effort. Let me know what you think about this new space station footage courtesy of StreetCap1, and I will see you back with much more in just a bit. Stay safe, guys.